This video was created to help the HVAC professional install and maintain TACO equipment. Please read the on-screen disclaimer before viewing this video. TACO's TC Series pumps provide the ultimate in reliability and ease of installation for heating, air conditioning, pressure boosting, cooling water transfer, and water supply applications. In this video, we'll explain how to disassemble the TC series. It's important to follow these instructions in order to facilitate the pump's correct use. Let's get started. First of all, safety is the number one priority. Lock out power to the pump. Close all valves and confirm zero pressure in the pump. Drain the pump and make sure you're wearing the appropriate safety gear, eye protection, steel-tipped shoes, and gloves will be your best friends when it comes to this job. Next, assemble the tools you'll need. Here is a complete list. Take a few minutes to look it over and gather your tools together. Begin disassembly at the drive end of the pump. Note the A and B ends of the casing. In this photo, the drive end of the pump is A. To begin disassembly, loosen the bearing cover bolts and remove the bearing cover. Next, loosen the two bearing retaining nuts. Note the red label on your pump indicating direction of shaft rotation. To loosen the bearing retaining nuts, turn them in the same direction as the shaft rotation. Remove the bearing retaining nuts. Loosen the eight bolts that hold the bearing housing. On some models, the bearing housing cannot be removed with the seal cover plug in place. On these models, remove the seal cover plug before continuing. Attach the gear puller to the bearing housing. Using the gear puller, begin to free and remove the bearing housing. Slide the bearing housing off the shaft. Loosen the four seal cover bolts and remove the seal cover. Remove the shaft sleeve outer o-ring from the shaft. Using two blunt screwdrivers or pry bars, pry the seal loose and remove the seal. In some cases, the seal will separate from the sleeve. You can remove the shaft sleeve from the shaft by simply using the casing cover as leverage to pry the sleeve off the cover. Please note that on all Taiko TC model pumps, the sleeve is slip fit, not threaded, and can be pried off the shaft. Remove the seal cover o-ring. Replace this with a new o-ring when reassembling the pump. Before attempting to remove the casing cover, first mark the alignment of the casing and cover. This will make it much easier to align when reassembling the pump. Loosen the casing cover bolts evenly, moving from bolt to bolt until all are hand tight, then remove the bolts. Then attach a lifting eye and chain fall or hoist to the casing cover. Insert two seal cover bolts into the jack tapped holes in the cover. Use these as jacking bolts to ease the casing cover from the casing. Using a screwdriver or pry bar, free the casing cover from the casing. Before moving to the non-drive end to continue disassembly, place a string or support strap around the drive end of the shaft. Make sure the shaft is held in a neutral, horizontal position. Once the shaft is properly supported, move to the non-drive end of the pump. Loosen the bearing cover bolts and remove the bearing cover. Loosen and remove the bearing retaining nut. Remove the seal cover plug. Loosen the bearing housing bolts all around. Attach the gear puller to the bearing housing. Make sure that the shaft is still supported in a neutral horizontal position. Then loosen the bearing housing. Remove the bearing housing. Remove the seal cover. First loosen the seal, 
Then remove the seal and shaft sleeve from the shaft. In some cases, the seal will separate from the sleeve. You can remove the shaft sleeve from the shaft by simply wrapping on the dry end of the shaft. Using the web sling and chain faller hoist, slide the shaft and impeller from the casing and lower it to the floor. Tap the shaft free from the impeller. So there you have it. Disassembly of the Taiko TC series pump is now complete. Now let's put it all back together. To reassemble the TC, move to the non-drive end of the pump. Reassembly must begin at the non-drive end of the pump to prevent horizontal shaft movement during reassembly. First, slide the impeller onto the pump shaft. The impeller must be oriented correctly to the direction of rotation of the pump. Right to left vane contour for counterclockwise. Left to right vane contour for clockwise rotation when viewed from the drive end. This photo shows the impeller oriented for counterclockwise rotation with a right to left vane rotation. Make sure the shaft key is aligned with the impeller keyway. On larger model TC pumps, there are two shaft keys, so make sure both are aligned. Use a file on the drive end shaft keyway and sleeves to clean up any burrs or rough edges. Align the impeller keyway with the key on the pump shaft and seat the impeller firmly. Set aside the shaft and impeller assembly. Working from the drive end of the pump, slide the shaft and impeller assembly into the casing, non-drive end first. Make sure the drive end of the shaft continues to be supported. Guide the shaft into the casing until the nose of the impeller is firmly seated. When the impeller is seated correctly, it will go no further into the casing, and the shaft will be centered in the horizontal neutral position while supported by the web sling. Return to the non-drive end of the pump, then place the seal and sleeve assembly onto the shaft. Be sure the sleeve assembly keyway is firmly engaged with the shaft key. Install a new seal cover O-ring. Put the non-drive end seal cover in place and tighten. Install a new sleeve O-ring. Slide the bearing bushing onto the shaft. Using a bearing heater, warm the bearing and housing to ease replacement on the shaft. Then, slide the bearing housing onto the shaft. The end of the shaft should be flush with the bearing inner race. Tighten all bearing housing bolts, working evenly around the perimeter of the housing. In some cases, the shaft will move forward when installing the bearing housing. If that happens, using the Belleville washer and retaining nut, draw the shaft step back so that it's flush with the inner bearing race, or wrap on the shaft from the drive side until the shaft end is flush to the inner bearing race. Put the bearing cover in place and tighten it down. Replace the seal cover plug. Continue reassembly at the drive end of the pump. Slowly remove the support from the shaft to avoid possible damage to the non-drive end seal supporting the shaft. Be sure that you have a minimum of 1 8 inch of keyway protruding from the impeller as this will lock the drive end sleeve. Using a chain faller hoist, lift and swing the casing cover into place and secure with casing cover bolts. Wiggling the shaft will help ensure that the impeller is seated properly within the cover wear ring. Now, slide the seal assembly onto the drive end of the pump shaft. The seal assembly keyway must also be aligned with the shaft. Confirm keyway engagement by rotating the shaft sleeve left and right. You should be unable to rotate the sleeve. Any rotation in the sleeve indicates that you have failed to get keyway to sleeve engagement. In that case, go back and make sure that you have a minimum of 1 8 inch of keyway protruding from the impeller shaft. The drive end sleeve will not lock until you achieve that fit. Put a new sleeve o-ring on the shaft. Replace the seal cover o-ring, then replace the seal cover and tighten the bolts. Slide the bearing bushing onto the shaft. Using a bearing heater, warm the bearing and housing to ease replacement on the shaft, then slide the bearing housing onto the shaft. 
Replace the bearing housing. Use the first bearing nut to draw the bearing housing tight to the bearing bushing. Make sure the bearing bushing housing is firmly seated. Tighten all bearing housing bolts, working evenly around the perimeter of the housing. Replace the second bearing nut on the shaft and tighten it up. Check the rotation of the pump by turning the shaft by hand. It should rotate smoothly and freely. Replace the seal cover plug. Replace the bearing cover and tighten the bearing cover bolts. That completes the reassembly of the Taiko TC Series Pump. For additional resources, product information, and comprehensive tech support, visit the Taiko website at www.takocomfort.com.